All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I don't have any headphones today, but guys, actually kind of a different video today. I actually don't, I don't have any notes. I don't have any statistics. I don't have anything like that. I just kind of want to open up a dialogue. And before I get into this video, actually, I just want to let you guys know, um, I make my NBA recap videos every night. They come out around 12 o'clock, midnight, 1 a.m. You can watch it the next day. But I got a couple comments today saying like, yo, you know, sorry, it's not Rockets related, but blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, sorry, it's off topic, blah, blah. I love I love the, the dialogue as I, I want you guys to, you know, give me your opinions. I want you to call me out on my shit. I want to call you out on your shit. Like, I want to have a good basketball fun dialogue, especially in the comments. So you guys can comment anything whenever you want. Hopefully you know that. Uh, today we're talking Pelicans, though. This is not an NBA recap video. This is just Pelicans because... I don't know if you guys watch my live streams, if you watch my YouTube videos, I've been kind of talking about the Pelicans a lot as of late. They're a couple games below 500, but they have just insane talent. Like their lineup, their roster to me is so talented. Like Zion is a beast. Brandon Ingram is a beast. Those are those two guys alone, the two, the two Duke boys, to me, they're an extremely talented playoff team. Just those two guys. I know they're really young, but statistically, they're still extremely good. So the point of this video is, you know, I keep saying it, the Pelicans confuse the hell out of me. Like they are so confusing to me because I don't think Bledsoe works in their lineup. And to me, that is kind of their main issue that Bledsoe doesn't really work. I thought Drew worked better than Eric Bledsoe but he still it still was just kind of a weird fit um they've got Lonzo Ball they've got a bunch of playmakers their unit their their starting five to me it just doesn't mesh like they're missing something and I don't know entirely what it is and I want to hear you know the point of this video I just want to hear your guys's takes I think that Bledsoe or Lonzo Ball need to go. One or the two need to go. I think Lonzo Ball really should get traded away from the Pelicans. He's playing really good basketball right now. And I want to see this dude succeed on a different team. Because I just, I think he deserves it. I think he's a great player. And I want to see him get a good shot. Last night, he drilled six threes. He's got talent. He's a good passer, good defender. So I want to see Lonzo Ball on a different team. But... I don't know if that necessarily solves all of their issues. Steven Adams, to me, is an interesting piece at center because he crowds the paint. You know, he's a big guy, great rebounder, gets some blocks. Like, he's a great big man to have. So why doesn't their starting five work? Zion Williamson. I drafted him in fantasy, fantasy basketball. He's having an insane season. His body shape is crazy to me because... The skill set that he possesses kind of just with like the body shape he has right now, the body shape he's kind of always had even at Duke, it's just kind of mind boggling how good he is. And Brandon Ingram, you guys know I'm a big Duke guy. So I've got nothing but love, nothing but respect for Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram. And I just don't know. I have no idea why they are struggling so badly. And I guess they're not struggling so badly. They're not struggling like the Houston Rockets. But they're struggling like the Miami Heat. They're struggling like the Toronto Raptors. They haven't found their identity. But I don't think that this starting five is the identity that they should be pushing for. So that's just my opinion. That's my take. But I want to hear your guys' take. Kind of a different video, but I've just... I've been thinking about the Pelicans so much this week and just kind of thinking about what they should do, what I think that they should do. And I want to hear your guys' opinions because I talk about it in my videos, but no one really comments about the Pelicans part because I, I mean, I guess I don't have too many Pelicans fans yet. So working on it, but let me know if you, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like more videos like this, where it's just kind of open dialogue. Um, but yeah, I should be streaming tonight. If you enjoyed the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button i really appreciate all you guys hit 2.2k subs yesterday at like two point i'm at like 2100 i'm so bad at math i'm not even gonna try that i i'm just bad at numbers so i'm not even gonna try we hit 2.2k yesterday i appreciate you guys so much let me know down in the comments what you think the new orleans pelicans should do and i'm trying to prolong this video to five minutes if you can't tell by now i'm just rambling on and on and on and on and on and i'll see you guys later tonight